IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 229, and here we're looking at the role of the digestive enzymes. Students should return to video 28A and review how enzymes function. The overall principle that we're about to see is that digestive enzymes turn the insoluble food which we ingest into soluble molecules which can then be absorbed into the bloodstream. This latter process occurs in the small intestine. So this is promoted by uh, digestive enzymes. The insoluble food is the food we eat and the soluble molecules are those which go into our bloodstream and then are assimilated into our cells. There are three types of this process we should consider. The first one begins with the molecule known as starch, a type of carbohydrate. And this molecule is a long chain, as shown here, of glucose molecules. This is insoluble, and this forms the main component of foods such as rice and potatoes. The breakdown occurs using the enzyme amylase, and this breaks down the long chain molecule into these two molecule structures here, known as disaccharides or double sugars. So starch is digested to maltose by the action of amylase. The second part is that the maltose is then digested by maltase to glucose. And these are the soluble molecules which can be absorbed into the bloodstream. Maltose is actually soluble also. Notice that amylase and maltase end in the letters A-S-E. This indicates to us that this is the name of an enzyme. The second type of digestion to consider is the breakdown of proteins. Again, a chain molecule, which is broken down by a group of enzymes known as proteases to their monomers known as amino acids. The amino acids are then absorbed into the bloodstream and then assimilated into our cells. The third type of digestion by enzyme is that of lipids. Lipid structure is different to that of carbohydrates and proteins and illustrated here by this simple model. The lipase breaks the molecule here, here and here to create the small molecule which is known as glycerol and the chain molecules here which are known as fatty acids. These are also absorbed into the bloodstream and then assimilated into our cells.